This is a respiratory presentation. Presented to you by Betsy DeHara Williams, a Californian registered respiratory therapist, RRT. The following is for entertainment only. It is not to be taken seriously, even though most of this info is based on facts. The respiratory system. The respiratory system is comprised of the nose, mouth, trachea, cilia, lungs, bronchial tree, alveoli, and diaphragm. Functions. The nose and mouth act as a filter, humidify and protect the airways. Trachea. Also known as the windpipe, allows air passage to the lungs. Cilia. Tiny hairs protecting the airways from germs. They act as a mucus escalator. These hairs called cilia are damaged by smoking. Lung functions. Lungs, a pair of sponge-like organs consisting of bronchial and alveoli. Alveoli. Tiny air sacs where gas exchange occurs. This is the point where oxygen enters the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is diffused out of the bloodstream. Respiratory diseases. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Asthma. Bronchitis. Tuberculosis. Lung cancer and pneumonia. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is comprised primarily of two related diseases. Chronic bronchitis and emphysema in both diseases there is chronic obstruction of airflow through the airways. The obstruction is generally permanent and progressive. Risk factors for COPD. Number 1, smoking tobacco. Tobacco smoke causes up to 90% of all cases of COPD. Fact, a smoker is at least 10 times more likely to die than a non-smoker. Number 2. Long-term exposure to lung irritants, air pollution, chemical fumes, dust from the environment or workplace. Number 3, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency also called A, A, T. A genetic condition, where a person has low levels of A, A, T, a protein made in the liver. Symptoms, an ongoing cough with mucus production, shortness of breath, especially with activity, wheezing and chest tightness. Asthma. Asthma is a chronic inflammation of the bronchial tubes, airways, that cause swelling and narrowing, a constriction of the airways. The result is difficulty in breathing. Asthma is usually reversible with treatment. There are two types of asthma. Intrinsic asthma. Stress, emotional upset and exercise induced. Extrinsic asthma, pollen, animal dander, smoke, dust, air pollution and mold induced. Bronchitis. Bronchitis is a respiratory disease in which the mucous membrane in the lungs bronchial passages become inflamed. As the irritated membrane swells and grows thicker, it narrows and shuts off tiny airway in the lungs, resulting in coughing accompanied by thick phlegm and shortness of breath. Chronic bronchitis is caused mainly by smoking. The heavy smoker will have frequent episodes of chronic bronchitis due to the irritants from smoke. Tuberculosis also called TB tuberculosis, TB is an infectious disease caused by a bacteria known as mycobacterium. Tuberculosis. This is an airborne disease spread by an infectious person's cough, sneeze, spit or sputum. TB is spread by primarily from person to person, by breathing infected air during close contact. This is the reason healthcare workers are mandated to have an annual TB skin test. Lung cancer. Lung cancer kills more people than any other form of cancer. 8 out of 10 lung cancer cases are caused by smoking. Pneumonia. Pneumonia in an infection of one or both lungs which is caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. The lung or lungs start to fill with fluid causing little space for air to exchange. Prior to the discovery of antibiotics, one-third of all people who developed pneumonia, died from the infection. Currently over 3 million people develop pneumonia each year in the United States. Over a half a million of the people are admitted to a hospital for treatment, and approximately 5% will die. Pneumonia is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Respiratory assessment. Heart rate, respiratory rate, breath sounds, skin color and pulse oximetry are used for assessment. Respiratory distress terms. Tachypnea, rapid breathing, hyperventilation. Orthony, ability to breathe, only while in an upright position. Dyspnea, difficulty in breathing, shortness of breath or air hunger. Apnea, without breath, a period of time without breathing. Sleep apnea, obstructive or central. Foods that are good for the lungs. Foods that help the lungs function, fresh fruits and vegetables. Fresh fruits and vegetables are good lung foods as well as for your overall health. Apples, researchers say that apples are more effective than other fruits and vegetables in reducing the risk of developing serious diseases including lung cancer and COPD. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it and helped you learn a little more about the respiratory system. From your friendly RRT, Betsy.
Copyright April 2009 Riverside, California. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day. Oh, by the way. Just breathe.